Hello students. Let's continue our journey through practical geometry. In the last session, we discussed the construction of squares. For that, only one measurement is needed. In this session, we are going to construct another special quadrilateral, the rhombus. As we see in the case of square, rhombus does not require five measurements to construct it. It is possible to construct a rhombus when two measurements are given. Here, we construct a rhombus when the lengths of two diagonals are given. Before starting the construction of rhombus, let's recollect the special properties of a rhombus. We know that all the sides of rhombus are equal and the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. Opposite angles are equal and adjacent angles are supplementary. Now let's start the construction of rhombus through an example. Construct a rhombus ABCD with diagonals AC equals 7 cm and BD equals 6 cm. So firstly draw a rough sketch. Let's begin with the diagonal AC equals 7 cm. Then construct its perpendicular bisector. To draw the perpendicular bisector of AC, take the compass with a radius more than half the length of AC. With A as center, draw arcs on both the sides of AC. With same radius, draw another set of arcs on both the sides of AC to cut the first pair of arcs, keeping C as center. Draw a line through the points where the arcs cut. That will be the perpendicular bisector of AC. Let O be the point where AC and the perpendicular bisector meets. Since the diagonal AC bisects BD perpendicularly, B and D are on either side, at a distance of 3 cm, from O. So cut off 3 cm lengths on either side of the drawn bisector, to get B and D. Now join AB. BC. CD. And DA. To get our rhombus, ABCD. Let's conclude. In this session, we studied the construction of a rhombus when the length of diagonals are given. We can also construct a rhombus when one side and one angle are given, or one side and one diagonal are given, or one angle and one diagonal are given. Before winding up, let's do an activity. Construct a rhombus whose diagonals are 5.2 cm and 6.4 cm long. That's all for now, see you all in the next class, with another interesting topic.